see, isn't this adorable? Dad spend some time with his little girl. I mean, like th there is nothing better on this planet than parental love, you know, like the, the paternal love. Just, hey, I got my little girl I'm going to dance together a little bit. I mean, shoot, man, get ready for her wedding. I like, see she wanted to she wanted to, to get picked up and that whole fun part. I mean, it, oh man, this is this is so sweet. <laughs> and you lost me automatically. I mean, and you see my man as soon as she did it, he was like, ooh, what the hell? And the mother, the mother starts laughing. There is absolutely Nothing funny about this, but because the mother is more than likely where the young lady got this from, oh, she's yucking it up. <laughs> like, you see the look of sadness on this man. Like, he is putting his hand to his face. He going to cry in the car. He, go, he going to get down. He going to cry in the car because at this point, you basically got to throw the whole kid away. And I know you might be thinking, oh, Jay, that's a little harsh. No, it is not. OK, like this is behavior that is taught. The mother taught this behavior to this child. And honestly, <laughs> this is why fathers are so necessary. You look back, you look around our communities, you look around our country and you see all these wild acting young boys and girls and it's because they don't have proper guidance and he seemed i mean i don't know this man i mean he might be uh, might be terrible but he cares enough to be upset by this and the mother is just <laughs> she and she really thinks this is funny she thinks this is cute and it is not it really isn't and she gonna be feeling some kind of way when in the next 14 15 years she's a grandmother because this is learnt behavior that you are teaching to your child and you are spreading to your children. I mean, this kid is tainted for the most part. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to run it back, but I'm definitely turning off the volume because the mother's laugh... It, the mother's laugh gets into my skin because she genuinely does not see a problem with what her daughter is doing here. But anybody with two eyes and a little bit of common sense knows exactly what's wrong with this entire situation you've sexualized your child before they even out of diapers and you, you she and i'm pretty sure the mother is going would sit there and be like oh no uh -uh, what do you mean this is only what you inter no no not at all you've ruined this kid and it, this is one of the biggest dangers of the uh broken homes that we have throughout the country you may not agree, but I could care less what you agree with. The deal is, is that if you, if the father's not there every day, and I'm talking about every day, with the exception of, you know, when he got to work the and, and leaving the mother to her own devices, she'll teach her kids the most disgusting and degrading things under the guise of, you know, just she was bored. She had nothing better to do than to corrupt her child. And <laughs> like I said, this is why, like, just you, you got to throw the whole situation away. I mean, you really do, because that mother don't see anything wrong with what she's doing. He probably he more than likely if it's like custody, if it's a custody situation, he more than likely doesn't have like full time custody. And even if you could take this uh, video to a judge if you want, but that don't mean that they're going to, you know, give him, grant him um, custody because that's not the way our court system is set up. I mean, and this is sad. And one of the most heartbreaking videos that you could probably ever see from certain angles, because this is just the generation of degeneracy that we have amongst us. And that man is upset. He did not want this for his daughter. He really didn't. And the mother thinks it's funny, you know, like the mother, she's just like, oh, yeah, this is hilarious. But then if something were to happen to the to the child, she'd be wondering, oh, how did this happen? When she when the when the child um comes back in, in, in a little under two decades and says, oh, mommy, I'm pregnant. She's going to be wondering, oh, well, how did this happen? I mean, my goodness, didn't I teach you better than that? No, this is what you taught the child. And there's a ton of people like, oh, my goodness. Well, you know, there's no steps in my family. The, the, those folks who are like, oh, yeah, step families and all this other nonsense. Nah, family. Nah, not at all. I can't encourage 
anybody enough to be in a committed long term loving relationship with somebody before you have before you make another person with them because you don't know who you making these people with. And then you that that's that's half of you that's out there doing whatever in the hell. And they were ruined from the, the moment you blew that load into the mother. Like that, like this is the this is some of the most disturbing shit. And to have, you know, uh the and I can guarantee you there is a subset of the population that will be like, oh, that's her baby. She could do whatever she wants. It's a part of that whole mentality that a lot of women have where they see their children as property instead of people that will have to go out into the world and function. And that's really one of the main reasons why uh, the lack of father, father's leadership in the household has been encouraged and perpetuated through the welfare state because they know that the women are, I don't want to say incapable because there are, there have there been women who've done a fantastic job raising their children okay by themselves after choosing a terrible man to let them impregnate them okay i'm not knocking those but (laughs) they are the exception and not the rule and the rule is is that you know had dad been there in this little girl's life every single day the chances of her just dropping over and starting to twerk wouldn't what's name like that that she won't even know what it was she wouldn't even be able to tell you what it was had he been, you know, saying, and uh, I, I want to I don't like that's the thing. I don't want to make assumptions about their relationship, but it's pretty obvious that, you know, they're not together. Like the parents aren't together in this in this situation because of exactly how shocked he is learning about this and seeing this. And it's just dang sad, man. It really is. It really is. And if you think that this is funny, then. Guess what? You're an awful human being that couldn't care less about the welfare of children. And yet the 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 perception remains that, oh, yeah, well, you know, I mean, sh- black men, they the ones that's always in jail. They the ones that um that that are like, you know, saying like gone. But what never gets asked, what's never brought up is the fact that who picked them? You know, I mean, I heard a, uh, somebody once told me that women decide who gets to have sex and men decide who gets to be married. Unfortunately, we've done a great job over the past 20 years separating the two concepts, the marriage and the, and the sex concept. When, you know, back in the day, they were intertwined so heavily. And the reason that they were were to prevent situations like this, where you have a where you have aimless child. That's being raised by a mother that, you know, is aimless in in and of herself, because that's ultimately the role of the man or the masculine in any relationship is to, um, you know, lead for the most part. I mean, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, yeah, the woman's a a servant or anything else like that. But I am saying that as a family, you should have set goals and you should be um, working towards fulfilling those goals. And that's what the man provides for the most part. Like, hey, we're going to get here. This is where we're trying to go. This is how we're going to get here. Help, like, you know what I'm saying? And, and navigate. Help me navigate. Let's let's do this together. That's what the man's role is. But we are so, we live in a society that pretends that men and women are equal. With your, with, we are the exact same thing when it's a, you can tell, like, particularly in a lot of the content that I do, but in this video in particular, how we are not. No good man, no decent man worth his salt thinks that there's anything funny or cute about a child that's barely five. Okay, like I, I'm willing to give this kid four years old, barely five, bending over and starting to move themselves in such a in such a manner. Not a single one. So I I saw this video a couple of days back and I was like, you know, I got to do a video on it because this is the saddest thing, the saddest thing, and that mother's cackle just makes me want to hit something it really does like <laughs> like as soon as the mother starts laughing i completely understand i turn a, like <laughs> like i get i turn a, i get every quote unquote abusive man like mm-mm, you gotta keep this shit in line you gotta stop this 
because without the masculine, without that um, oppression that she feels, so she so she isn't allowed to be a free spirit and whatnot, what have you, you end up with a, with the with generations of children just like this. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the Internet stuff. If you liked it, you know what to do. Toss a like. Dislike. Go ahead. Do that, too. I am not scared of you, sir. Share. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to give videos like this every single day. Uh, sub. No, no. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, man, I messed up. I messed up my outro. How did I do that? <laughs> Share because YouTube's not going to do it. And uh, bitch, you definitely, uh, it definitely holds a brother down. But still, you know, I mean, I, I, my my audience grows because my audience want me to grow, not because any algorithm um, boosts me up. And speak. Let me know what do you think in the comments. I mean, do you think he went and cried? Do you think he decided, yeah, I, I, I'm out and just went and made a whole nother kid? Because, yeah, this one's done. Mar married the woman so he can keep a, a better eye on the whole situation and say yeah we all living together you're gonna move in with me yeah this is this is this is sad this is some of the saddest things ever uh but i'd like to know what you think in the comments and until the next video